My beloved child, today I come to you with a message of hope, peace, and abundant love. I know the burdens you carry, the tears you have shed, and the battles you fight in silence. But I say to you, fear not, for I am with you always. I am your shield your fortress, your ever-present help in times of trouble. You are never alone, for I, the Lord, have encircled you with my love and protection. Like this video if you trust God's timing. I see your heart, I hear your prayers, and I understand your deepest needs. You are precious to me more than you can ever comprehend. Before you were formed in the womb, I knew you, and I called you by name. You are not here by accident, but by divine purpose. I have ordained every step of your journey, and I will never lead you astray. Do not be discouraged by the challenges you face, for they are not meant to break you, but to build you, to strengthen your faith, and to draw you closer to me. I am refining you like gold in the fire, removing the impurities of doubt, fear, and anxiety, and replacing them with strength, courage, and faith that cannot be shaken. You can also donate a super thanks to support our channel. Trust in me, for I have plans for you. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. The road may seem difficult now, but remember, I am the God who parts the seas, the one who makes a way where there seems to be no way. Do not look to the left or the right, but keep your eyes fixed on me, the author and finisher of your faith. Today I declare over your life that the chains of oppression are broken. The mountains that stand before you will crumble, and the valleys of despair will be raised. Your enemies may come against you, but they will not prevail. For I, your God, fight for you. I will turn every stumbling block into a stepping stone and every closed door into a new opportunity. Beloved, be still and know that I am God. In the quietness of your soul, you will hear my voice. I am speaking to you now, whispering words of peace, comfort, and direction. Do not let the noise of the world drown out my voice. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Donate using super thanks to support spreading God's word. You are my chosen one, and I have set you apart for greatness. What I have spoken over your life will surely come to pass. No weapon formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue that rises against you in judgment you shall condemn. This is your heritage as my beloved child. Rise up in faith today and walk in the fullness of the blessings I have prepared for you. I am opening doors of favor, pouring out blessings that you will not have room enough to contain. Your cup will overflow and you will be a blessing to others. For I have blessed you to be a light in the darkness, a beacon of hope to those around you. 
Do not fear the unknown, for I hold your future in my hands. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, and I know the plans I have for you. Trust me with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge me and I will direct your paths. My child, lift your head, for I am the lifter of your soul. Do not be weighed down by the cares of this world, but cast all your anxieties on me, for I care for you deeply. I will carry your burdens and give you strength for the journey ahead. I will renew your youth like the eagle, and you will soar to new heights. You can also donate us super thanks to support our channel. In this season, expect miracles, expect breakthroughs, expect my favor to surround you like a shield. What was meant for your harm, I will turn for your good. Every setback is a setup for a greater comeback. Keep your faith strong, for your best days are ahead of you, not behind you. Go forth in peace, knowing that I am with you. I am your provider, your healer, your deliverer. Whatever you need, I am more than able to supply. Speak my promises over your life. Declare my word in faith and watch as I move mountains on your behalf. I love you with an everlasting love and nothing can separate you from my love. Not trials, not tribulations, not fear, not doubt, nothing. You are mine and I am yours forever. Type Amen. If you believe God has a plan for you, type Amen if you believe in these words and stand firm in your faith. Know that I am your God and I will never leave you nor forsake you. Victory is yours. Amen. My child, as you move forward, remember that my promises are yes and amen. I am not a man that I should lie, nor the son of man that I should change my mind. What I have said, I will do, and what I have spoken, I will make good. Trust in my timing, for though you may not always understand the process, I am working all things together for your good. I am the potter, and you are the clay. I am molding and shaping you into the vessel I have destined you to be. Though the refining process may be uncomfortable, it is necessary for your growth and for the fulfillment of the purpose I have placed within you. Do not resist my hands, but surrender fully to my will. For as you yield to me, I will transform you from glory to glory, strengthening your character and deepening your faith. I see every tear you have cried, and I am collecting them. Know this. Your tears have not been in vain. I am turning your mourning into dancing, your sorrow into joy, and your weeping into laughter. For I am the God who restores, and I will restore to you everything the enemy has tried to steal. The years of pain, loss, and heartache are being redeemed. I am giving you beauty for ashes and the oil of joy for mourning. Your latter days will be greater than your former. Prepare yourself. 
For the new things I am about to do in your life, behold, I am doing a new thing. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. Where there was barrenness, there will be fruitfulness. Where there was lack, there will be abundance. Where there was confusion, there will be clarity. I am doing a new thing in you, through you, and for you. Share this video if you know Jesus is your Savior, but child, you must remain steadfast in your faith. The enemy will try to discourage you, but I say to you today, stand firm. Do not give up. Do not waver. For your breakthrough is closer than you think. I have given you the armor of God to stand against the enemy's schemes. Put on the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, the shoes of peace, the shield of faith, the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit. With this armor, you are fully equipped to face any challenge, knowing that I go before you as a mighty warrior. You can also donate us super thanks to support our channel. I am your banner, your victory, and your song. The battle is not yours, but mine. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. I am fighting for you. The enemies you see today, you will see no more, for I will utterly defeat them. Your victory is already secured because I am the victorious king. I am also your shepherd, guiding you beside still waters and leading you to green pastures. When you feel lost or confused, come to me. I will lead you in paths of righteousness for my name's sake. Even when you walk through the darkest valley, fear no evil for I am with you. My rod and my staff, they comfort you. I am your protector and your provider, and I will not let you lack any good thing. My child, remember this. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. You are not a mistake, and your life is not without purpose. I have knitted you together with great care and intention. Every gift, every talent, every passion I have placed within you is for my glory and your fulfillment. Do not compare yourself to others for I have created you uniquely for the calling I have placed on your life. You are enough because I am enough in you. Type, I love Jesus if you walk by faith, not by sight. As you go about your day, meditate on my word. Let it be a lamp to your feet and a light to your path. Hide it in your heart so that when trials come, you can stand firm in the truth. Speak my word with boldness, for it has power to bring life, healing, and deliverance. My word will not return void, but it will accomplish what I please and prosper in the thing for which I sent it. Finally, my beloved, be patient in the waiting. I know you have prayers that seem unanswered and dreams that seem delayed, but I assure you I am at work even when you cannot see it. My ways are higher than your ways, and my thoughts are higher than your thoughts. I am aligning everything according to my perfect will for your life. Trust me in the waiting, for what is coming is greater than anything you can imagine. I have heard your prayers and I am responding. 
In due season you will reap if you do not faint. Hold fast to your confession of faith without wavering, for I am faithful who promised. In the fullness of time, everything will come to pass. My timing is perfect, and my plans for you are good. Type yes if you trust God. A super thanks donation will bring health and joy to your family and help us spread my message all over the world. Amen. Walk in my peace, knowing that I am with you always, even to the end of the age. I will never leave you nor forsake you. My love for you is eternal, and nothing can separate you from that love. Not trouble, not hardship, not persecution, not famine, not nakedness, not danger, not sword. Nothing in all creation can separate you from my love that is in Christ Jesus your Lord. Type 333 if you know God is always with you. Go now, in my grace and in my peace. Keep your eyes fixed on me, the author and finisher of your faith, and watch as I do wonders in your life. You are mine, and I am yours forevermore. Amen. My beloved child, there is something profound I want you to understand. You are chosen. Before the foundation of the world, I knew you, I called you, and I appointed you for a purpose that no one else can fulfill. You may feel insignificant at times, but know that you carry the weight of a divine calling. I have placed in you gifts, abilities, and dreams that are uniquely designed for my glory and for the blessing of others. Do not be afraid to step into the fullness of who I created you to be. The world may try to tell you that you are unqualified, unworthy, or incapable, but I, your creator, say otherwise. I have equipped you with everything you need for the journey ahead. I am your sufficiency. When you feel weak, remember that my strength is made perfect in your weakness. When you feel lost, know that I am your guide. When you feel overwhelmed, rest in my peace for I will never ask you to carry a burden alone. You can also donate a super thanks to support our channel. Do not despise the days of small beginnings. The seeds you plant today in faith, in obedience, in love, will grow into a mighty harvest. The work you do in my name is not in vain, even if it feels unseen. I see your faithfulness, and I am preparing a reward that far exceeds what you could ever imagine. Be patient and trust in the process, for I am working behind the scenes in ways you cannot yet perceive. Like this video, if you believe God can move mountains, remember that my ways are not your ways, and my timing is perfect. You may not understand why certain things happen, or why some prayers seem delayed, but trust me, I am orchestrating everything for your ultimate good. Even when it feels like you are walking through the fire, know that I am there with you. I am refining you, purifying you, and preparing you for the next season of your life. 
type God is good if he has blessed you. Type amen if you agree. Like this video if you believe in God. Subscribe this channel for more videos. If you want your life to count, then you have to focus it. You don't have time for everything, and not everything is of equal value. So what should you focus on? Jesus made it very clear what matters most in life. He said, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, and mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. The second most important is similar. Love your neighbor as much as you love yourself, Matthew 22, 37 to 39. Jesus said, there are two things in life that are more valuable than anything else. The first and greatest is loving God. Then, the second most important is loving other people. If you get those two things right, then you've gotten life right. Life is not about acquisition how much you get. Life is not about accomplishment how much you do. And it's not about achievement how much you earn. It's not about all the things the world tells you it's about. You're not taking your career to heaven. You're not taking your car or your house to heaven. But you are taking your character. You're taking you. God put you on earth for 80 to 100 years so you can learn to love. That's what life is all about. Learning to love God with all your heart and learning to love everyone else too. Life is one big lesson in love. Seasons is defined as one of the four periods of the year. Spring, summer, autumn, and winter. Time division, term, opportunity, occasion. God knew what he was doing when he created the different seasons. The earth needs each of them, and we need the different seasons he brings into our lives too. Just like nature has four different seasons, our lives seem to have different spiritual seasons too. God is in control of all of the seasons, whether natural or within life. There are four seasons we will go through. One, dry season. It's when God is quiet, or you can't hear his voice or sense his presence as you once did. He seems very distant. In this season, it's also good to do a self-examination. In other words, check to see if there's anything that may be causing the silence or dryness, like unconfessed sin. The waiting season. Waiting can be quite difficult. But hang in there. He's planning. He's pruning you. He's chiseling away what's not needed for the next level. He's making you ready, so let him work. The cat, the grinding season. Recognize what needs to get done. Write things down and press through with the strength God gives you, his provision and divine grace. Rely on the Holy Spirit to lead and help you get through the grinding season. The tests and trials season. If you're going through some hard times, know that God is with you right there in the midst of it all. He's totally at work. How integrity blesses you. The Bible says that God blesses those who have integrity, Matthew 5, 8. So what are the blessings you can expect when you live your life with authenticity and a pure heart?
personal confidence. When you have integrity, you become the kind of person that other people like to be around because you know who you are and where you're going. Proverbs 109 says, People with integrity walk safely, but those who follow crooked paths will be exposed. When you don't have integrity, it's like walking on an icy path after a snowstorm. You're putting every bit of your energy into trying not to fall. When you have integrity, you're standing on solid ground. A lasting legacy. Your greatest ingacy is your integrity because it will last from generation to generation. Everything else that you do gets lost. When you're gone, your money will be divided among your family and its is going to be spent. Your work will be given to somebody else. All the trophies that you've earned are going to be thrown in the trash and taken to the dump but your character is going to be translated into the lives of the people around you and then into the lives of the next generation. It is a lasting legacy. The Bible says in Proverbs 207, a righteous person lives on the basis of his integrity. Blessed are his children after he is gone rewards in eternity. Matthew 25 slash 21 says, You are a good and loyal servant because you were loyal with small things. I will let you care for much greater things. We tend to think that the rewards are in the big moments of life where everybody is watching but it's in the small moments that you show real integrity. Every small word of encouragement you give this next week will be rewarded eternally. Every small act of kindness will be rewarded in eternity. Every time you reject a temptation, you will be rewarded in eternity. That's the power of integrity and the difference it makes not just here but for eternity. What does your heart reveal? How does God help us manage our mouths? By going directly to the source, the heart. Have you ever said, I don't know what got into me, I'm not that kind of person? Well, the truth is, it wouldn't be coming out of your mouth if it wasn't in your heart first. In other words, it's not your mouth that gets you in trouble, it's your heart. The stuff that's inside of you is what comes out. The Bible says, whatever is in your heart determines what you say. Matthew 12, 34 NLT. Your words demonstrate your heart's condition. That means someone with a harsh tongue is demonstrating an angry heart. Someone who brags a lot is revealing an insecure heart. A person who is overly talkative has an unsettled heart. Critical words reveal a bitter heart. On the other hand, when you share encouraging words with others, it reveals a joyful heart. When you offer gentle words to people when they're down, it shows you've got a loving heart. If you say kind and comforting words to people, it shows you've got a heart of peace. What you say shows what you're like on the inside. Contamination can only be eliminated at the source. When God helps you control your mouth, he changes you from the inside out. God specializes in heart transplants 
and is ready to transform anyone who comes to him, no matter what has happened in their life. Mankind is guilty before God for believing the doctrine of oneness or one-ism, which teaches the divinity of nature and divinity of man, that God. Man and nature all share the same essence, that each of the three domains are fundamentally one-one. Ism is a form of spiritual hotiom, where everything is considered divine, because everything is an aspect of God's core beliefs. Of oneism include Hindu monism, Lalt is Onel Parthism, Alt is God and mysticism. The experience of oneness with the divinal creism teaches all in one, and one is all, all is one. Panthers me. Everything in the world is interconnected, no matter how disconnected they are, and they are all part of the one entity, the universe, God. One is all panentheism, the universe, God, and all pervading entitil is what makes up everything. Pantheism means that all is God. Panentheism, that all is in God. Oneism beaches what God says. Markind is guilty of the divinity of nature, nature, worship, idolatral, who changed the truth of God into a tea and worshipped and served the creature more than the Creator. Romans 125 Give the divinity of man, human worship, idolatry. In the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. Genesis 34-5 KJV The doctrine of oneness originated with Satan and is based on one's feelings rather than the word of God. The feelings of oneness is experienced through a form of alternative spiritual practice lofton connected to neurochemical stimulation. This sense of oneness is grounded in T, the mystical and or ecstatic, and may be stimulate stimulated through mystic practices and rituals and also by psychedelic or enthugan eye drug substances. It is a feeling of boundary dissolving wholeness, timelessness, and flow. Blooming the lines between divinity, humanity, and nature. Because of these features, it has immense influence upon the construction of world views related to the perceived deed.